Okay, so I made a video showing how to use the Binance bridge to turn an Ethereum ERC-20 token into a Binance Smart Chain BEP-20 token. So if you have Ethereum, you want to turn it into BNB or any other token that you can trade on PancakeSwap, you want to find that video. I'll put a link to it below this video. If you have Ethereum, which is an ERC-20 token, or you have some other ERC-20 token that's not on the Binance Smart Chain network, it's on the Ethereum network, and you want to turn it into a token like BNB that's on the Binance Smart Chain, or you want to be able to you know, trade it on PancakeSwap, you need to get it on the Binance Smart Chain network. Look for a video below on how to use the Binance Bridge. So I've shown you how to do that in a recent video. The link will be below. Now I'm going to show you once you have your Ethereum, in this case, on the Binance Smart Chain. So it's pegged Ethereum. It's Ethereum that works on the Binance Smart Chain. That's what we use the bridge for, to turn Ethereum, regular Ethereum on the ERC-20 on the Ethereum network into Ethereum that's on the Binance Smart Chain. You can now trade it on PancakeSwap. You can now trade it for BNB. You can now trade it for any tokens on the Binance Smart Chain network. And so uh, I now have the Ethereum here. I have 0.356 that I sent over from the Ethereum network using the Binance Bridge. I sent it over here, and now I want to trade it for BNB. Uh, now you might have to hit the drop down, you know, and enter ETH, you know, to pull that one up. I already have it in, so I have it selected, and then I'm going to hit any one. I what are you going to turn it into? You're going to in this case, I want to turn it into BNB because I want to be able to use that BNB to do crypto presales, like to purchase cryptocurrencies before they're launched on the market. We have all kinds of videos on that on this channel. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you wanna learn about our crypto pre-sale strategy. It's absolutely insane. The kinds of results we're getting uh, by getting into projects right like a day before, hours before they launch on PancakeSwap for the very first time. You need BNB to participate paid in those crypto pre-sales. Uh, if you don't know about that, I got a free class on it. We've got a Discord group where we help people do it. Super, super cool. Look at my other videos. Uh, but anyway, you need BNB to participate in all kinds of things, to be able to do anything on the Binance network. And so I'm going to turn my Ethereum into BNB. But again, just for those of you who are new, I know this is annoying for those of you who are more experienced, but for those of you who are new, this Ethereum used to be on the Ethereum network. And I made a video just a couple, just a couple minutes ago, which I'll put a link to below, where I turned the Ethereum that was on the Ethereum network into Ethereum that's on the Binance Smart Chain network. So it's still Ethereum that's on the Binance Smart Chain network. And you have to do that first before you can go to PancakeSwap you know, and use the Ethereum. Also, uh, of course, you need to be on the Binance Smart Chain network. And you know, I'm using MetaMask. A lot of what I'm sharing here works for other wallets like Trust Wallet, but I, I'm using MetaMask. So obviously it's very specific to MetaMask. Uh, just you know, remember that up here, you're choosing what network you're on. So it's the same wallet address. And I talk about this in the other video where I showed how, to, how I turned the Ethereum that I had in here on the Ethereum network, an ERC-20 token, and I turned it into the Ethereum using that bridge. And I turned it into Ethereum that's on the Binance Smart Chain. Just make sure when you're on PancakeSwap, of course, you have to be on the Binance Smart Chain network. If you don't know how to do that, again, look for my video. I'll put a link below this one on how to use the Binance Bridge. And I talk in there about how to add the Binance Smart Chain Network to your MetaMask. You need to have that. Have that selected if you're on Pancake. Okay, so once again, I'm going to turn Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain into BNB. And uh, this is loading. Sometimes this says like insufficient liquidity for this trade. You just have to wait. Sometimes, very rarely, it might mean there is insufficient liquidity if you're dealing with a token that's really unknown. I rarely run into that. But if we're talking about Ethereum and BNB, I'm certain there's liquidity. So it just took a while. And now, first thing I got to do, because I haven't done it with this wallet before, I need to enable Ethereum. So I click enable Ethereum. It's going to cost me eight cents in BNB. Okay, so that's the other thing. You're going to need a little BNB for gas to do this transaction. If you don't have any BNB to do this transaction, then you need to get it from a friend <laughs> or you're going to need to go to Binance.com if you're outside the U.S., uh, to get BNB. It's pretty tough to get BNB uh, into your MetaMask if you live inside the US. Uh, so there are ways to do it. I think that's because of competition, Coinbase, and some other exchanges in the US. A lot of the people who work on those teams used to work in the banks. 
and to keep competition out, AKA the largest exchange in the world, Binance, they're just making it very difficult. But we can still do it. I'll put some links below. If you're needing to get BNB in the first place, you just need a little bit, like a couple bucks worth uh, to start your first transactions. And you want to, once you do that, you're going to want to always leave enough BNB in your MetaMask. So you always have it there for gas. But to get it started, you're going to need a little BNB. And if you don't have any to do this trade, then because you're going to notice when I go to my MetaMask, you're going to see I have a little BNB in there. I have a little bit of tiny amount of BNB in there. You need that. If you don't have that, look at the links below. It depends. It's not so easy because it depends on where you live in the world. Outside the U.S. is actually pretty easy, finance.com. Inside the U.S., I'll give you some links. And you can also do some searches and find out how do I get my first BNB. Trust Wallet. Some states in the US, you can't use Trust Wallet. Most states you can. So in most cases, that's the easiest place to get a little bit of BNB that you could in your Trust Wallet that you could then send to MetaMask if you wanna use MetaMask. Anyway, that transaction is done. Assuming you have a little bit of BNB for gas to do this transaction, I'm gonna hit swap now. So I'm swapping the Ethereum that I have in the Binance Smart Chain for BNB. I hit confirm swap. And then it's going to cost me very, very little, like 0.000896. And you know, it's just almost nothing. I hit confirm. And that's it. We will see that show up soon. If I come up here to MetaMask activity, you see that it's pending. But uh, in a moment, that's going to be done. And you're going to see uh, for very little cost, I was able to turn the Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain into BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. So I can now participate in crypto pre-sales, which uh, you know on the Binance Smart Chain anyway, I can now purchase other tokens that recently launched on PancakeSwap. And if you wanna learn about our crypto pre-sale strategy, how we're getting in on these projects uh, before they launch on, on uh, PancakeSwap and just seeing incredible gains, click around, look at my other videos, absolutely amazing what we're seeing. Uh, but anyway, so there you see it. My ETH says zero now. And uh, it's now 2.7 BNB. So now I can use that. It's exactly what I want to do. I want to get into a project that uh, is, is about ready to take off that just launched on PancakeSwap. So I'm going to use that BNB to do it. Originally, I had it in Ethereum. Originally, I had it on the Ethereum mainnet. It used to be in here. And, uh, you know, it, and, and now you'll see it says zero in there. I used to have it in this Ethereum mainnet. Same, same account number, same wallet address, and I moved it over using the bridge, using this right here, using this bridge, I turned it into, I'm kind of bugging it out because it knows that I'm, because I'm in the BNB network on PancakeSwap, but I just put it on the Ethereum network. So that I, I now it's in my, then I moved it over to the smart chain so that I could then turn it into BNB. If you're not sure if you have Ethereum or an ERC20 token on the Ethereum network and you don't know how to turn that into Ethereum or a BEP20 token that will work with PancakeSwap, that will work with the BNB, you know, Binance Smart Chain Network. I'll put a link below to my other video that shows you how to use the bridge to turn your ERC20 tokens like Ethereum into a BEP20 token like BNB. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a like. Please let me know in the comments because that's how I know to make more videos like this. Uh, otherwise, I'll make different videos. If this was helpful, please let me know so I know to make more of them. This would have been really helpful to me these kinds of instructional videos when I was first starting out. So I wanted to share this with you and I uh, hope it was helpful.